Today's video topic is autonomic dysreflexia. Autonomic dysreflexia is a life-threatening condition that affects individuals with spinal cord injuries above the T6 level. It is a serious condition that occurs when the body's autonomic nervous system becomes overactive. When the autonomic nervous system is overstimulated, it sends signals to the body to slow the heart rate, raise blood pressure, and to narrow the blood vessels. This response is known as a sympathetic fight-or-flight response and is meant to help the body protect itself from danger. However, in people with autonomic dysreflexia, this response is chronically overactive and can cause severe symptoms. Symptoms of autonomic dysreflexia The symptoms of autonomic dysreflexia can include a sudden, severe headache, sweating above the level of the injury, and irregular or slow heartbeats. It also causes flushing or redness of the face and neck, high blood pressure, and nausea or vomiting. Patients may also experience blurred vision, stuffiness in the nose, and goosebumps. Triggers of autonomic dysreflexia. Autonomic dysreflexia is usually triggered by something that stimulates the body below the level of the spinal cord injury or condition. The most common triggers for autonomic dysreflexia are bladder or bowel distension, skin irritations, tight clothing, or bladder bowel catheterization. Other triggers that can cause the condition include unrecognized pregnancy, surgical procedures, sexual intercourse, and certain medications. It should be said that psychological stress and extreme temperatures can also cause the condition to occur. How does it happen in the body? Autonomic dysreflexia occurs when the autonomic nervous system becomes overactive. This autonomic nervous system controls the body's automatic functions such as heart rate, blood pressure, and breathing. In individuals with spinal cord injuries above the T6 level, their lower body produces nerve signals that can't reach the brain, but can still reach the autonomic nervous system, which gets it to become overactive in response to stimuli that would normally be ignored by the body. When this happens, the autonomic nervous system releases a surge of chemicals that cause the blood vessels to constrict and the blood pressure to rise very rapidly, which then causes the brain to try and significantly slow down the heart rate to control the dramatic rise in blood pressure. Diagnosis of Autonomic Dysreflexia Autonomic dysreflexia is diagnosed when the patient is actually being treated from an episode. When the treatment is done, the doctor will diagnose the patient through a combination of physical examination and medical history. The doctor will check the individual's blood pressure and look for signs of sweating, flushing, or redness. They may also perform a variety of tests, such as blood tests, to rule out other medical conditions. Treatment of Autonomic Dysreflexia there is no cure for autonomic dysreflexia, but avoiding the triggers can help prevent future episodes of autonomic dysreflexia. So the treatment mainly focuses on avoiding the triggers such as a full bladder or tight clothing when possible. In some cases, medications such as beta blockers or calcium channel blockers are prescribed to help lower blood pressure. In conclusion, autonomic dysreflexia is a serious condition that needs to be managed as it can raise the risk of getting strokes by three to four times, and the outlook for the patient can be uncertain if the condition is triggered by things out of their control. So it is very important for any AD patient to work with the doctor and identify any possible triggers and try to avoid them as much as possible. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.